My name is David Cruz, C-R-U-Z. I am the LULAC National Communications Director, and I am here today on behalf of the National President of LULAC, Domingo Garcia, who is traveling, and also our Texas LULAC State Director. I will be introducing the speakers, and after remarks in English, we will also be sharing this message in Spanish. I'd like to first begin by thanking the general here at Fort Hood, the commander, because he has allowed us to use this facility and for giving us the courtesy of all this equipment. And of course, we're very thankful that the weather has cleared up for you. Let me first introduce to you our LULAC National Sergeant at Arms and leader here of LULAC in Colleen, and preface it by saying that we stood on this very spot three and a half years ago when Vanessa Guillen disappeared and was later found to have been killed, never thinking we would be here again under similar circumstances, that is to say the death of another Latina soldier. I'd like to introduce Ms. Ana Luisa Tapia. Here we are. Once more, we thought uh, when we were here for Vanessa, we would have wanted that to be the last time. However, here we are once more, and once more, Lou likes this, presente. We're here for the familia, familia Basaldua, familia Ruiz, y familia Latina, and all our service members. Lulac sends its deepest condolences to the Basaldua Ruiz Familia. Words cannot express our sadness and our concern over the passing of Army Private Ana Fernanda Basaldua Ruiz. Lulac is equally concerned over the reports from her family that their daughter was the target of repeated sexual harassment. Lulac demands an immediate full and transparent investigation into these claims. This investigation needs to start now and must be by an outside authority. LULAC cannot wait and trust that it, the investigation will address our community's concerns. LULAC will not rest until all facts are uncovered. And if criminal activity is found, we demand that those responsible brought to justice and prosecute it to the full extent of the law. LULAC is calling for a meeting with the U.S. Army leadership at the Pentagon and for a full accountability from the top down. LULAC will not rest until there is justice. We will not have any other Vanessa Guillens, any other Ana Fernandez, anywhere else in our military. Que en paz descanse, Ana Fernanda Basaldua Ruiz. We thank the Commanding General from Fort Hood, Commanding General Bernabe, Bernabe, for allowing us to be here and to share and to answer the questions that are coming from the community. And for those that are concerned about our service members, we are here to tell you we are presente. We are asking the questions and we're asking for the correct answers. And we're asking overall, justicia. We're asking for justice. We're asking for compassion to, for the family of Ana Fernanda. Thank you for being here with us this morning. This morning at 8 a.m., LULAC sent a letter formally requesting that FBI Director Christopher Wray consider opening a case on the death of Army Private Basaldua Ruiz. The request has two parts. One is that it be conducted outside of the structure of the Army as required under the Vanessa Guillen Act, which was signed into law by President Biden after bipartisan passage in December of 2021, 
Also, the second part is that we're asking Director Ray to consider authorizing gathering of all evidence that is brought forth by CID or any military entity so that the FBI can independently identify, assess, and evaluate what that evidence really means. It would be irresponsible of LULAC not to address a comment made by the Army in the last 24 hours. For the Army to say, no foul play, presumes facts that have not yet been brought forth. For the Army to say, no foul play, would also indicate a tone deafness to the concerns of the father and the mother of Ana Fernanda Basaldua Ruiz, who stated that she had been the target of alleged sexual harassment, repeated and consistent sexual harassment by other service members, up to and including an immediate superior to whom she reported. LULAC wants those facts looked into, those statements reviewed, the parties who were involved allegedly spoken to, and we want it done by an outside entity. We will take some questions in a moment, but I would like to briefly recap what we have just announced, including the request that we are making today of a meeting at the Pentagon with the general in charge of recruiting for the U.S. Army. When LULAC stood here before, we supported the mother of Vanessa Guillen when she said, if we cannot ensure the safety of men and women, our sons and daughters and our loved ones, we cannot send them into the Army. LULAC has not changed its position. The safety of our service members is a requirement within the ranks if they continue to want to recruit our young men and women, our sons and daughters, our husbands and wives and our loved ones. So that is a statement that we want to reiterate again today on the same spot. We have asked the Under Secretary of the Army to meet with LULAC sooner rather than later. The, the meeting was planned for the first week in April. We've asked that that meeting be moved up to this coming week. And we also want to discuss with the general in charge of recruiting what is going on. So I'm going to stop right there, and I will tell you that we will take questions at the end, but if I may. Mi nombre es David Cruz. Soy el director de Comunicaciones Nacional de LULAC. El día de hoy queremos expresar nuestro pésame profundo y el dolor que sentimos por esta joven Ana Fernanda Basaldúa Ruiz. Ya basta que estemos aquí otra vez defendiendo la memoria de esta joven de 21 años de edad. Quiero presentar a un miembro de LULAC que como veterano tiene prioridad en expresar también la preocupación que él siente. Permítanme. Buenos días. Mi nombre es Víctor Sánchez y como veterano de este Army, nosotros exigimos que se haga una investigación correcta para que nuestros veteranos, pues, nuestros soldados latinos, no sigan muriendo innecesariamente. Y después digan y pregunten por qué estamos muriendo de esa manera. Esperamos que todos ustedes nos apoyen y nos den el support que nosotros necesitamos. Muchísimas gracias y buenos días. Quiero solamente añadir un punto. I want to add one final point en español. Porque quiero ser muy claro. Oficiales del ejército dijeron que no se ha cometido un delito criminal. En inglés, no foul play. Nosotros no podemos aceptar esas palabras. Nosotros no podemos presumir saber los hechos 
y queremos que la investigación se lleve a cabo. Además, queremos recalcar que es un acto criminal el acoso sexual de cualquier miembro de las fuerzas militares de este país. I want to make it very clear that under the Brandon Act and under the Vanessa Guillén Act, sexual harassment is now a violation of federal law. Entonces, el que el ejército haya dicho que no se ha cometido un delito criminal, ¿qué es entonces el acoso sexual de la cual hablaba esta joven? ¿Se permite tal conducta? Nosotros creemos que no. Y LULAC no va a tolerar eso. Esta mañana hemos solicitado del de FBI una investigación independiente, transparente y completa de lo que ha sucedido aquí. Y además también estamos pidiendo que toda la evidencia que se reúna sea entregada al FBI para que ellos independientemente evalúen, investiguen e, y entrevisten a las personas posiblemente involucradas en lo que ha sucedido. No es solamente el momento cuando ella fallece lo que nos interesa. Lo que nos interesa también es cuáles fueron las circunstancias inmediatamente antes de esta tragedia. It is not only the moment of that death that concerns us as an organization and a community. We're also very concerned about the circumstances and the factors leading up to her untimely death. With that, I will pause. I will ask also Ana Luisa Tapia to step up. If you have any questions, we'll take a few questions. Yes, sir, go ahead. Yo soy Ana Luisa Tapia. Este, lo que queremos, what we want, is for our service members to be protected, our service members to be able to serve with integrity and to be mission ready. Eh, lo que queremos que nuestros uh, soldados, nuestros uh, miembros del servicio eh, sirvan con integridad y que se les permita eh, su trineamiento para que estén listos para cualquier misión. At the same time, we want them to be mission ready and anything that harms, harasses, any sexual harassment, any um, anything that harms their, their mental, physical well-being, lo que les dañe, ya sea físicamente o mentalmente, eh, para que no sean listos, eso es un peligro. That's a danger to our nation. Eso, eso es una, un peligro para nuestra nación, que los que nos están aquí para protegernos no estén listos. So anything that uh, hinders them from being mission ready is a danger to our nation. And that is something that LULAC will protect and defend. Uh, we want our service members to be able to sign on a dotted line. A service member does not become a service member because they signed the contract. They become a service member when they put their boots on and they, they show their integrity, their dedication, and their, um, their love for our country. Un soldado no se vuelve soldado nomás porque firma un contrato. Se vuelve soldado porque se, no, se pone las botas y sirve en nuestra nación con integridad y dedicación. So we want them protected. We want every program and every law, every bill that has been um, introduced into contract, uh, to, forgive me, into Congress to be implemented to the fullest extent. Queremos que las leyes que pedimos al Congreso que se usen esas leyes para la protección de nuestros soldados. ¿Para qué? Eh, para todo, toda la fuerza de la ley eh, para protegerlos. Let me uh, just uh, underscore something that Ana Luisa Tapia has just mentioned. We were in Washington this past week and we've been talking with the with both the Navy and the Army and other branches of the military, the implementation of the Brandon Act is extremely important. If you've not been familiar with the Brandon Act, I want to mention it now. The Brandon Act enables any member of the military to seek mental health services without reprisal or retaliation and without permission from commanders. So no one should stand in the way of any member of the military who needs to seek health care 
for their mental well-being, and I'm glad you used that phrase. We are not here to attack the Army. We're here to work with the military to ensure the safety and the well-being of our men and women. And yes, their well-being is the defense readiness of this nation. Is there any other question you'd like to ask? Yes, go ahead. Well, we would like the military to implement, as has been brought out by Ms. Tapia, we'd like the military to implement and really do it in the spirit and the letter of the law. The president signed both the Vanessa Guillen Act and the Brandon Act into law, and we have been in conversations with the Department of Defense and are very concerned that these measures have not yet been implemented. What Americans can do is if you see a member of your family who is in the military, who's experiencing any type of, of, of symptoms that give you reason for their mental well-being or their overall safety, speak up and say something. Encourage them to seek help because their readiness is certainly going to benefit them, you, and this, this country. Would you like to add something to that point? Our service members is our, our one of our biggest and most valuable treasures, and anything that harms them harms us. And um, Ana Fernanda, she does not have my last name, but she's part of my family too. So Ana Fernanda no tiene mi apellido, pero es parte de mi familia también. Así es que ella falta, nos falta una persona en nuestra familia, y nos falta... La justicia y la, uh, ¿cómo dice? Accountability. Contabilidad. Eh, Ana Fernanda is not a direct member of my family, but she is my family. And if she's missing, a part of my family is missing. So Ana Fernanda, may she rest in glory. And we're going to be here and we're going to seek every level of accountability. And until we find out the whole truth and nothing but the truth we will stand here and Lou like saying presente we're here and we want integrity respect for our service members through and through one final thought yes and i will take your your question in a moment i want to make it very clear without without in any way infringing upon the privacy of private Basaldua Ruiz, whoever it is and in whatever branch you serve, death by any means is a loss to the family, to the community, and to this country. It is time that we speak up on issues of mental health in our society. It is very important, and LULAC will do everything it can to underscore that. So I say that in every part of this country we need to be talking about the mental health of young men and women and everyone because it does play a part in what happens yes sir you had a question alguna pregunta caballero en este momento no pero si estamos buscando hacer esa conexión y cualquier persona que nos puede asistir en esa forma Lo agradeceríamos, Lula, que está aquí para proveerles cualquier apoyo que se pueda proveer. Entendemos que eh, en este momento la familia está muy concentrada en los preparativos fúnebres para su hija y pues quedamos nosotros a las órdenes de la familia y de nuestra comunidad. I'll take one final question. Sí. Ah, ok. Muchísimas gracias por venir. I want to encourage you to go to the Brandon Caserta Foundation .org and also go to lulike.org and you'll get more information on both of these federal measures, the Vanessa Guillen Act and the Brandon Act. Thank you very much for coming. Gracias.